what we've been doing is generating aerosols inside the bus and watching how that aerosol is transported. Aerosols are liquid droplets in air that can be potential conduits for the coronavirus. The team of Michigan engineering researchers are measuring and modeling the concentration and dispersion of aerosols in buses in order to learn how to better filter them and keep users safe. So we sampled at the driver location, at different passenger locations, and uh, studied the time response to see that aerosol and how low would the concentration go if the windows were open or other vents were open versus a closed bus with just recirculating air after air conditioning. By collecting data in a variety of situations, researchers are then able to create models that show the likelihood of coronavirus transmission with a variety of variables such as rider capacity, ventilation rate, and mass usage. Our model tells us if you have a sick person on the bus and the bus is full, how many people got sick in a 15 minute bus ride. Researchers then took the data and fed it into a mathematical model that creates optimal routes and user capacities for a variety of scenarios. We put all these objectives related to the bus operation, related to the passenger experience in the single objective function. Then we build a simulation model to try to uh, simulate all kinds of possible demand scenarios and to see whether or not these routes are resilient and also robust. From this work, university officials have built specific health measures for a variety of situations to keep both riders and drivers safe. The changes in a nutshell are duration of trip, number of people on a bus, wearing masks, and dealing with the fact that we're going to keep the windows open. It's going to be a little bit different. This will be a finite period of time. This will not go on forever. We want to get back to some part of normalcy, but we need to do that safely.